What is going on dude? It's Dude Family 6 here and today I'm going to show you how to move your Steam games from your main hard drive which is probably your C drive to another hard drive, even an external hard drive or an internal hard drive, whatever you want to do. So first you're going to want to locate your game. So mine is in my C drive here. It's built in. By default, I have a default setting so you're going to probably want to follow the same steps unless you installed your game somewhere else so it's probably in your C drive. So go ahead and open up my computer by clicking the Windows button here and clicking computer. And then click local disk C, right? And then right here, program files x86. Go there. And then go to Steam, which is probably it's alphabetically organized. So Steam right here, right? Scroll down and you'll find Steam app, which is right here. Open that folder. And then go ahead and open up common. And then here's some games. I have my games installed in another um, uh, hard drive also. This is just uh, an example. So say I want to move Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantom into another hard drive, alright? Say I want to move into, I don't know, just move into my uh, external hard drive here. I have a folder here, but I'll start over just so you guys can see how to do it, but you can install it any other hard drive as long as it has enough space. I have my games here set up already, as you can see. My games are here. But I'll, I'll show you this fresh start. So say I want to install into my H drive, which is an external hard drive. So first, you're going to want to open up Steam, right? Open up Steam. Then up here, click Steam, and then go down to Settings, right? And then here, you can see uh, it's by account, and then you want to click um, Downloads right here, right? And then you want to click Steam Library Folders. Go ahead and click that. And then here are all the libraries that your um, Steam, you know, things are on. So uh, first, you're going to want to uh, add a library folder, right? So go ahead and click Add Library Folder, right? And then go ahead and find the hard drive you want. So uh, mine's under the H drive for now, right? Give it a second to load. All right, and then click New Folder, and then you're gonna want to name this um, Steam Games, okay? Go and click OK, and then there's a folder Steam Games. You can install in even a folder in the H drive, like I have it in my G drive right now. I'm mean, an E drive, and I have a games old, and then I have Steam games, right? So you can install it even under another folder. But make sure the folder you uh, create is uh, Steam games, right? So there it is, Steam games. Click select. And there we go, we got H Steam games right there. We got 390 gigabytes of free space to work with right there. Alright, so go ahead and close that. And then you're going to want to locate ski, um, Steam games. So mine's in the H drive, and then Steam Games right here, and then you got Steam Apps, right? So it automatically created that folder for you, Steam Apps and Steam DLL. So you're gonna want to open from Steam Games and Steam Apps, make a new folder by right-clicking and then click New and then click Folder. And you're gonna want to name this Common, all right? C O M M O N, Common. All right, there you go. So now you're ready to go. So now you're gonna want to grab your game from your C drive. So again, local disk C and then program file 36. Go down. Steam, Steam apps, and then common. All right, that's gonna be the folder. And you're gonna right click the folder you want. So gonna right click it. So the game you want. So I want Tom Clancy's. So I'm gonna right click it. Click cut. So it'll remove it from this. And then you're gonna want to paste it in Steam games. Steam apps and common. Right click here again and paste it. And then it'll um, it'll take a while, but I'll just fast forward through this really quick. And uh, it'll um, you know move that folder from here into um, from the C drive into the H drive, right? So let's do that right now. Um, and you know, 15 seconds remaining. And you do this for any other game you want. Say I, had, say I want to move Advanced Warfare into here, I would right click it and paste in here again. Cut, cut and paste, but I wouldn't be able to launch very quickly because this is on my SSD. Um, and yeah, so about 15 seconds, I'll probably fast forward through this really quick. Alright. Alright, so we're done. It just finished. So it's not in this anymore because I cut it and pasted it in here. Make sure to cut, not copy. And we're cut this one. All right, so it's in here now. But you're not done yet. You just can't quite launch it. So you're gonna want to open Steam again. Click Library, and then I'm in playing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Right? 
So right now it is not here because I did I um forgot to install it here. So uh normally it's gonna be uh, one of these ones, right? And you're gonna want to click install. Let me just do it quick, actually. So just ignore this part. I'm sorry. Just ignore this part, please. Just ignore it. All right. So yeah, just ignore that. All right. So um it's gonna you're gonna want to right click the game. It's gonna say it's installed, but just not. You're gonna want to right click it. And then you're gonna want to click delete local content, okay? So the game you want, um, say Tom Clancy should be here, but it's not because I was doing this earlier, so just ignore that. So just right-click the game that's that you move. Say um, I was moving um, Advanced Warfare. I would want to right-click it and then delete it, both um, all the Advanced Warfare, right? And then you're gonna want to um, uh, install it, so it'll automatically install. So let's go ahead and Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. Click play now, and then. Is, it thinks I already have it, but I don't. Just ignore that. And then make sure you choose location for install under the um, the the library you had. So I had it under my H. See? So it'll ask you choose location for install. Make sure you um, install under the new Steam apps or the Steam games you created. The new one you created, not the old one. Just the new one you created. And make sure you uh, install under that. And then click next. And then click next. And it's discovering existing files. See, it's already existing, so it's going to discover that. And it's going to take really quick. It's going to be really easy. And uh, after that, you can go ahead and launch it. You might have to install, you know, you know like the Microsoft records or whatever. Or just the first time installation. But everything will be good, and you'll be good to go. You have all your files and everything. And you just successfully move it to your other hard drive. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That was how to move um, one game from your original hard drive to another one. If you have any questions, make sure to just leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Alright.